good day friends it is me hl mod tech and today i've got a video that is a little bit different if you're looking at the background you'll see one of my all-time favorite books it is called my side of the mountain it's back in the 1950s a kid in new york city the family is too crowded and he decides to escape one of the coolest things he does is move out and he takes a tree and turns it into a house. So I had the idea, what if we tried to make that tree in Tinkercad? So my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is find the book. You can do this at your library. You can also find it online. I saw it on Amazon for a nice price as well. Notice it's a hollow tree that he makes his home. So my friends, let's head to Tinkercad and make that happen. In Tinkercad, I am going to hit create new design. All right, friends, before we start our project, I want you to click up where the name is. I want you to name it My Side M, because there's a lot of letters in Mountain, and then put your initials so that you can keep track of it. I am gonna start with a cylinder, and then when it comes in, it's 20 by 20. I'm gonna grow it by holding Shift, and I wanna make it 40 by 40. So if you hold Shift and stretch it a little, then when you type a number in one box, it goes that distance in every direction. I'm going to take the sides to 64 so it's more round. You can do custom sides. Whatever you want is fine. And I'm going to make it 100 high so I have that much height to build into. Friends, this is a glimpse to the end where we add the top of the tree. I'm going to tell you don't do this now because it slows down your computer in Tinkercad because of how complex this sweet tree is. So right now we're just doing the base of the trunk, and then when you're all done, I teach you how to add this awesome tree top. Let's start by using Fit View to zoom all the way in, and let's hollow it out by clicking on Duplicate. Changing the second one to a hole and then holding down shift and shrinking it. Now notice the numbers adjust um, a little bit at a time. I'm taking it down 10, and then I'm gonna hide the first shape with the little hide button, and now I'm gonna make this crazy tall so it's taller when I bring it out. So notice that's gonna give a nice inside of the trunk of our tree. When we draw a rectangle that touches both of those, it'll say two shapes selected. When we group it, now our tree is cut out. We just need an entrance. We're gonna do an entrance back on the basic shapes. You could use any choice you want. I am gonna do a rectangle entrance because we're gonna hang a deer skin over it. That was one of the things he learned to do. Our rectangle entrance is gonna be just like that. I wanna make it a decent size uh, so that I can put a lot of things in it. So my door is gonna be kind of small. I'm gonna actually type the numbers. I want it to be 10 wide, and I want it to be 15 high. The nice thing about it being that size is if you were walking through the woods, there's less chance of you seeing it. I'm gonna make sure it lines up in the middle by just hitting the align. I'm gonna tell Tinkercad I care about the orange cylinder by clicking it, and when I click and align it, now I can group those two, and boom, we have got an entrance to our cool little house. Let's make our tree a tree color, like some sort of brown. And I'm real quickly going to add the little cover that is the door. I'm going to bring out another piece. I'm going to make it the same size, only a lot thinner. So let's check those measurements again. We needed 10 wide, and we needed 15 high. And I'm going to make that a little bit darker color just so that you can tell it's a door. So I made it this color so I could tell it was a door, but that's a little bit too uh, visible. And now I'm nudging it into place. So let's do a custom color. If you click custom, you can move into the browns and find a brown that is a little bit different, but it does blend in with the tree trunk. And then I'm going to nudge it back in so it looks as realistic and attached, but also I can tell it's separate. You can go back in and adjust those colors until you're exactly happy, but it's just a fun way to make it look a little bit more realistic. I wanna be able to build, so I'm gonna hide both these pieces real quick. I'm just touching them both with a rectangle and clicking the hide button. One of the important things Sam builds is a fireplace. I'm going to do that with a rectangle. Once again, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to squish it. I'm going to take the radius and I'm going to move it so that it's rounded. I'm going to do control D to duplicate and pull the new one out front. 
Hold down shift and squish it a little. Notice I'm not measuring. I'm giving you a ton of room to play with this. Now I'm gonna grab those two pieces and I'm gonna line them. And I'm gonna say, hey, Tanker Cat, I care about the red one. So now I can choose the middle front. I can choose the front front and I can choose the top. So my fireplace has this piece up here that's kind of ready to be the cutout, but I'm gonna move it down just a couple chunks with the control down tool. Now I'm gonna pull it forward one with the arrows. And then when I group this, I have got a sweet little cutout area that could be a fireplace. Now on a fireplace, you also need a chimney. So let's add one of those quick. We're gonna go down and use the tube, although you could pick your own cool choice. Once again, I'm gonna shift squish to get it to the size I want. And then I'm gonna use this one to stretch it taller. And then when you move it into place, you can see how that would be a decent sized tube. I do want it up top, so let's use that sweet work plane trick to drop that part to the top. With it selected, just press D, and you can see it moves to the top. I'm gonna make them both black by clicking the colors, and I'm gonna go back to presets. I'm gonna do a gray black, because I think his were out of stone. And I'm gonna do a line. I'm gonna once again pick the piece I care about, so Tinkercad knows what I'm aligning to. And I want it aligned to the back. That's too far back because of the way I rounded it, so I'm gonna move it forward. And then you'll have to add pipes to get it to vent out, but you can see that's how you create your parts. I'm gonna group those together. If I was being really, really, really fancy, I could cut out the hole. You could put in sticks to make fire. There are so many things you can do as you make this more and more awesome. If we do show all, and then we hide our little door, check it out. You can see there is a cool fireplace now inside the project. Just a quick reminder, friends, when you do get to the end of this project and you made it unbelievably awesome, that's when you should go down to the all, move all the way out to that page 16 and grab that awesome tree and use the cool shift trick to add it to your treehouse. Uh, don't try and do it early because it will slow Tinkercad down because it's pretty complex. Notice I don't have the roof on this tube anymore, so I've got to click on an edge. And then it was simply bring out the tree, maximize these two numbers, for the radius and the height, and then zoom out and hold down shift and grow it to the size that fits your tube. And then of course make it brown and you can shut off the transparent so it all comes together, but it ends up looking really, really, really sweet and it's a pretty fun project. This time I'm not gonna hold shift, I'm just gonna go in these directions to try and line it up. And then I'm gonna make it brown and boom, I have got a pretty cool My Side of the Mountain tree. If you wanna add leaves, check out this cool trick. We go back to basic shapes and we just bring in a sphere. I'm gonna make it green. And then when we lift them up, you can put them on the tree. I'm gonna do Control D and nudge a little over. I'm gonna do Control Up so it attaches where I want. And if I do Control D, it'll make more of those and I can just nudge them where they belong on the tree. Notice I missed by a little bit. I'm gonna set this to five millimeters so it moves faster when I nudge it and get those into place and make my tree just look unbelievably fantastic. Just make sure you turn it around so that you can see all the places you're trying to put it because I've missed twice now. And there you can see with a little bit of duplicating and nudging, you can have that looking like a realistic tree in no time. I'm gonna set my work plane back down to the ground I'm gonna make my tree so it's not transparent anymore. And I'm gonna take a quick look at what we just created. There's the entrance, there's the tree. Pretty amazing. All right, friends, that is the last piece I'm gonna give you. If you don't know how to build other stuff, you can watch some of my other videos. You can find them on my YouTube channel. You can also visit hlmodtech.com and check out the Tinkercad 10, where I show you my 10 favorite lessons for getting some skills in Tinkercad. Real quickly, before I send you away from this, though, check out this cool tr technique. If you click on your treehouse and choose transparent, you can actually see through the tree instead of clicking the hide button. Both are awesome, show all is a great way to bring them all back, and the entire project should be a ton of fun. 
friends, if you make something awesome, please take time to share it with us at HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I love to see when cool plans come together, and it's also real fun to interact because you can let me know if there's something you would like me to create. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.